Well, a breakthrough to report today for boys who have a terminal illness called ALD. It's all thanks to the work of some dedicated Minnesota researchers. One in 20,000 boys in the U.S. is born with ALD. It's a disease that causes them to slowly lose sight, mobility, and speech. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us the research that is offering new hope. Priscilla Vinnacloss has been through a lot. It was horrific being a teenager and watching your dad deteriorate was sad and not knowing what was wrong with him and just him losing his speech and his mobility. Turns out he had ALD, a genetic brain disease that affects males. It took her father's life and then her precious baby boy was diagnosed too. So you found out he was? He was. And what was that like? So that was devastating because I automatically, your brain goes to the worst case scenario. So I thought of my father. She got proactive, traveled from their home in Michigan to Minnesota, to Masonic Children's, where they're doing a clinical trial. We were thinking, well, what do we have to lose? Dr. Orchard led the trial at Masonic. Instead of a more risky bone marrow transplant, Landon got gene therapy with a stem cell transplant. Rather than use somebody else's cells, engineer your own cells to do that. Landon took the transplant like a champ, but it wasn't easy. It was just a hot mess. It sucked. <laughs> We're so glad you're out of that hot mess. Yeah, me too. It was worth the pain. The therapy worked. It seems to stop the progression of the disease. That's pretty amazing. It is kind of amazing. God, I'm living right now. Um, I know how to eat. I know how to walk. I know how to talk. There is hope in the future for these boys to live long, healthy lives. And he's proof. He is proof, yes. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. The FDA just approved the gene therapy. It is offered at Masonic and three other hospitals around the world. The hope is the gene therapy could help stop other terminal diseases as well.